Good afternoon. This is your devotion for May 6th, 2021. I'm tying this week's devotions to our scripture on Sunday, the encounter of Peter and Cornelius the Centurion and his household. Our devotion today gives us a little more backstory on Peter and his travels before heading to the house of Cornelius. Peter, according to Jewish law, was not supposed to even have a conversation with a non-Jewish person, let alone enter their house. Yet, that is what we are seeing Peter do. In today's reading in Acts chapter 10, starting at verse 19, we find men that Cornelius has sent requesting Peter's presence. Now, he has just had his vision of God releasing the dietary restrictions on people of faith. And fresh off of that is Peter's challenge by another restriction, visiting the home of a person not of his own faith. Beginning at the 19th verse. While Peter was still thinking about his vision, the Spirit said to him, Simon, three men are looking for you, so get up and go downstairs. Do not hesitate to go with them, for I have sent them. Peter went down and said to the men, I am the one you are looking for. Why have you come? The men replied, We have come from Cornelius the centurion, he is a righteous and God-fearing man who is respected by all the Jewish people. A holy angel told him to ask you to come to his house so that he could hear what you have to say. Then Peter invited the men into the house to be his guests. The next day, Peter started out with them, and some of the believers from Joppa went along. The following day he arised in Caesarea. Cornelius was expecting them and had called together his relatives and close friends. As Peter entered the house, Cornelius met him and fell at his feet in reverence. But Peter made him get up. Stand up, he said. I am only a man myself. While talking with him, Peter went inside and found a large gathering of people, he said to them, You are well aware that it is against our law for a Jew to associate with or visit a Gentile. But God has shown me I should not call anyone pure or unclean. So when I was sent for, I came without raising any objection. May God bless the reading and the hearing of this portion of his holy word. Again, I will turn to the commentaries of William Barclay to help set the stage. In this passage, the most surprising things are happening. Once again, let us remember that the Jews believe that other nations were quite outside the mercy of God. The really strict Jew would have no contact with a Gentile or even with a Jew who did not observe the law. In particular, he would never have as a guest nor ever be the guest of a man who did not observe the law. Remembering that, see what Peter did. When the emissaries of Cornelius were at the door and knowing the Jewish outlook, they came no further than the door. Peter asked them in and gave them hospitality. When Peter arrived at Caesarea, Cornelius met him at the door, no doubt wondering if Peter would cross his threshold at all, and Peter came in. In the most amazing way, the barriers are beginning to go down. That's typical of the work of Christ. A missionary tells how he officiated at a communion service in Africa. Beside him was an elderly chief. His name was Nagoni, called 
manly heart. The old chief could remember the days when the young warriors of the Nagoni had left behind them a trail of burned and devastated towns and come home with their spears red with blood and with the women of their enemies as booty. And what were the tribes which in those days they had ravaged? They were the Senga and the Tumbuka. And who were sitting at that communion service now? Nagoni, Senga, and Tumbuka. They were sitting side by side, their enemies forgotten in the love of Jesus Christ. In the first days, it was characteristic of Christianity that it broke down the barriers. And it can still do that when given the chance. So we find, again, that God intervenes when we least expect it. When will you find uninvited guests, or at least unexpected ones? Between now and Sunday, read a little bit of the book of Acts, the 10th chapter, and tell me what you think God might be saying to our church about telling the story of the good news of Jesus Christ. Pray with me, please. Almighty God, Heavenly Father, be with us this week as we go out into the world thinking about how we can show the love of Christ to others. Are there thresholds that we are reluctant to cross? God, will you show us the way to go and help us to break down those barriers that we ourselves erect in between us and those who need to hear your word. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. I hope today finds you happy and healthy. May God bless you. Trust in God, but do not forget to wash your hands.